Steelmaking has been the backbone of Australia's modern economy. It's incredibly important for the nation to make its own steel. But with the global industry accounting for around 8% of carbon output, a day of reckoning is approaching for domestic steelmakers. Wyala's Liberty Steelworks in South Australia must adapt to survive a low emissions future. The town is built on hard knocks. The worst thing you can do is tell somebody in Wyala they can't do something um, because they'll, they'll prove you wrong. Steelmaking emits huge amounts of carbon dioxide because coal is used in the manufacturing process. British industrialist and owner of Wireless Steelworks, Sanjeev Gupta, has big ambitions to use hydrogen instead to make what's known as green steel. For us, this is our one best hope for the immediate future. Blast furnace um, operations that consume coal to reduce the iron generate about two tonnes of CO2 for every tonne of steel that is produced. In converting to use of hydrogen, ultimately you can drive that all the way down to finite levels, um, let's call it zero. It is indeed Wyala's time to shine. But decarbonisation comes with risk. The transition requires massive investment in new technologies. We have all the ingredients necessary for a world-leading green steel hub. Currently, hydrogen isn't being used anywhere in the world to commercially make steel. There is a tight deadline. Sanjeev Gupta's Liberty Steel Group has committed to being carbon neutral by 2030. Hey. The federal government is contributing $63 million to the decarbonisation plan. Are your plans too ambitious? Not at all. We understand the engineering, we understand the market and we understand those that want to be involved and the timeline we can achieve that. In a town built around the steelworks, the stakes are high for the plant's 900 workers. My dad Albert worked at the steelworks at 71, he worked there for about 33 years. My brother Paul, he's been there 43 years. And my brother Jeff, 42 years. And I've worked at the steelworks for 37 years. Richard Wallace is worried about the transition, which includes installing a new plant to process iron ore and a cleaner $500 million electric furnace. They're trying to save money. So they've got money to build the electric arc furnace. So um, let's say 12, 18 months ago was if somebody left, somebody would be replaced. No, it doesn't happen now. So um, yeah, the employment's not great at the moment. And how would you say that's affecting morale? Uh, I don't know if it'd be rude to say it'd be killing morale at the moment. Well, thank you very much. Good morning, Wyala, a city with a future. Concerns about the future are heightened because of unfulfilled past promises. In 2018, a year after taking over the steelworks, Sanjeev Gupta unveiled a grand vision to turn Wyala into a mega steel plant. The community has been absolutely, I have no words to describe how committed and how driving it has been uh, in terms of our, our aspirations. The vision promised new jobs and a population boom. This is nothing short of a revolutionary journey, a bold dream set to become a reality. Small business owner Jeff Hardyman is one local disappointed that bold dream has yet to become a reality. I think morale in Moyala at the moment is a bit subdued. I've heard a lot of stories about what's going to happen and what isn't going to happen. And I think um, the morale is such that it is uh, people are expecting nothing to happen. Why should Wyala's residents trust your promises this time? I, th I think when you look at a visionary person, the, the great thing is they put a, um, a vision out there and then good... But they have to deliver on that vision, don't they? Well, I, I think what they do is they put a beacon on a hill and then what, what you want to fall in behind it. So we're doing our value add, leveraging our own inputs locally. That creates a, a, a far greater picture that still meets the vision that Sanjeev was putting out in 2018. It's just shifted around a bit. When I started there, like, everything was really good. But like now, 
If something breaks down, well, we're just gonna have to wait to get it fixed. All right, we're gonna have to work around it. The future of Wala and this latest round of promises is inextricably linked with Sanjeev Gupta's global steelmaking empire. Last month, steelworker unions around the globe held a crisis meeting amid European blast furnaces being temporarily idled and workers stood down amid poor economic conditions and a dispute over unpaid debt. They've demanded an end to what they claim is Sanjeev Gupta's irresponsible management, a criticism rejected by his company. There's no secret that GFG are under pressure globally. Difficulties emerged after Sanjeev Gupta's key financier, Greensill Capital, collapsed in 2021, amid a tangled web of some unusual and opaque transactions. The UK's Serious Fraud Office is investigating the Gupta Family Group Alliance for suspected fraud, fraudulent trading and money laundering. GFG Alliance has denied any wrongdoing. Should Australian taxpayers be concerned that the Gupta family group of companies is under investigation by the UK's Serious Fraud Office? I think when you look at the organisation, we, we're a, an alliance that has one shareholder, which is Sanjeev. But under that sits the assets that are their own legal entities. I have no, uh, no knowledge of, of any details behind anything that happens outside of what we are focused on here in Australia. The federal government is contributing $63 million towards the electric arc furnace. Have you secured finance for the rest? No, not, we're working, that's part of the business plan and part of that $63 million goes to concluding that wraparound work. The Climate Change Minister Chris Bowen and Industry Minister Ed Husick both declined 7.30's requests for interviews. Mr Bowen wouldn't be drawn on the global problems. A statement from his department said Liberty Steel's grant was assessed by an expert advisory panel, but exact details of the application are commercial in confidence. Can you guarantee the Weiler plant will be making steel in 10 years' time? I know the pathway to getting that steel well within that 10 year horizon. So from what I can see and what I'm um, clear on, I can certainly say we have the roadmap, we have the plans and we have the good people that will make that happen. Liberty Steel says it can still cut emissions by using natural gas if hydrogen doesn't become available as quickly or as cheaply as hoped over the next few years. There's a bit of, is this going to happen now? Well, actually, there's a, a lot of, is this going to happen now? But steel worker Richard Wallace is trying to stay optimistic despite the challenges ahead. It'll be an exciting time if it happens, so, you know, if we can get this green steel happening, it'll be great.